how does the firewall manage all of those sessions? And if I've got more than one line card, how does it know if, a, if I got traffic coming in, um, is, is it one of those situations where I have to dedicate traffic to you know, certain networks to a certain line card, or is there uh, additional flexibility in how I, how I might configure that? Definitely, so you can pin traffic to a specific line card, but there's a lot of logic in the SMC or the switch management card uh, that's in the 7000 series. And the secret sauce is the first packet processor, and that's really the brain behind uh, the device. It knows where to, uh, as new sessions come in, it can, based on the session distribution algorithm on the box, distribute those round robin based on load. Uh, it's, it's really flexible, and that's where the intelligence lies. And then the horsepower is in all of the, the line cards for, on the network side. So is it possible for me to have a single line card that has uh, connections to it, and then I could have another line card that maybe I'm not using for ingress or egress, but I just want to take advantage of the data planes that are on that? Can I use the data planes and the processors on the second line card for processing traffic that's coming in? Absolutely. That is fantastic. And that's, that's actually, you know, it's kind of a funny use case. You have this big chassis, and it's fully loaded with cards, and some of our customers just have a couple of interfaces connected. And that's, that's, that's how they use it. It depends, you know, you don't have to plug everything in. Uh, you can add more um, power to the device. You don't have to necessarily plug into it to leverage that. So the first pack of processor, that's the magic, right? Yeah. So let's, let's go back and think about this. Not everybody understands what a session is or how it actually gets built. And, um, and, and even the logic. So I, it, it, does the 7000 series, say, have a different way it processes traffic than the 5200 or the PA220, um, so to speak? When traffic comes into a PA7000, uh, that line card, there's a network processor on it. It maintains state, and it's going to look up to see whether or not it's seen it before. If it hasn't, then it's going to send it to the first packet processor. Now that could already be traffic for an active session on a different line card, it's not automatically new. So the FPP is going to look at its global table to see if there is already a session. Uh, if it is, then it just forwards that traffic to the card. It'll send another message back to the one that received it so that in the future, if it gets more, it'll know about it. Uh, and then it's just handled. In the case of a new session, it'll go through that session setup process and then based on your session distribution algorithm, it will decide where that particular session uh, will be owned.